Reverie, I believe in me. Reverie was a small unicorn. Her mane and coat were so fair. She had big dreams to fulfill. As for how, she did not care. Her little hooves were really hard, baking up a storm. She set up shop, threw sprinkles on, her pastry still all warm. Doobity the fox walked up and noticed all her glee. What's all this? he asked, perplexed. It's just too much for me. I'm setting up my bakery shop, Reverie exclaimed. A unicorn, a fox inquired. Is this some sort of game? Who ever heard of such a thing, unicorns making sweets? There's many others who've done the same, and they all have you beat. Reverie, once hearing this, began to sit and think. Her heart and dreams were much too big for her to let them sink. There are so many other things that I still have yet to try. Saying this, she set to work with hair coloring and dye. Her little hooves worked their magic with hair she would poof and preen. With jealousy, the bird flew in, eyes narrowed at the scene. What's this? Jealousy squawked in ire. You could tell she was not pleased. It's my salon, Reverie replied, looking quite uneased. A salon, scoffed Jealousy in utter disbelief. Give up this foolish flight of fancy. It will only cause you grief. Reverie thought freshly of more talents she possessed, for with creativity she was greatly blessed. A dance studio, Reverie thought, or her new idea seemed sound, twirling in her sparkly tutu with every single bound. It was loads of fun for all until Qualms the Rabbit hopped in the room. He looked at her with widened eyes, his expression that of doom. This is an accident waiting to happen, his voice sounding austere. I would not tippy-tap around like that, for you could fall down in here. Another idea came to Reverie as she lay in bed that night. Maybe I don't, don't need a storefront. I just need to write. Her little hooves went cloppity-click on her trusty old typewriter. Ideas began to flow to her, and the future looked much brighter. She sent her book away to see who it would please. Rejection the pig wrote a snooty review. This book's not worth a sneeze. Give up writing now, I say. You are not the literary sort. No one would buy a book like this or offer their support. So Reverie again decided to try out something new. She had to keep on trying. Anything would do. She opened up a garden shop, pouting plants and watering seeds. Her flowers would bloom, bloom so brightly, and their beauty made her pleased. Intimidation the bear stumped in and growled at her endeavor. Anyone can plant a seed. You really aren't that clever. Give up, he scorned. Give me your shop, for I can make it succeed. Go get a job like a normal creature, for that is all you need. No one believes in unicorns, to reverie it was clear. She got a job, worked day and night, and worked for about a year. Her little hooves typed in data, a cubicle is where she stayed. The sparkle left her tired eyes and her countenance dismayed. Discontent the sprite leaned in. Reverie, why are you so sad? If working here is not what you love, then do what makes you glad. I tried so very hard to make my dreams reality. But no matter what it was I did, no one would believe in me. Discontent gave out a sigh and tugged her cotton candy mane. Believe in yourself, dear Reverie, for you have so much to gain. You gave up too soon, my precious friend, believing others' lies. If you work hard to believe in yourself, any dreams can be realized. Reverie's eyes lit up again with sparkle and delight. She leaped up on her coffee to office desk. Thank you, friend. You're right. I forgot the most important thing in my efforts to achieve. I let self-doubt tell me what to do when I just needed to believe.
Reverie reopened her bakery. She sold out of stock each day. Her sweets are so unique and yummy, people lined up outside to pay. Her hair salon gained such renown from everyone that she made pretty. It quickly became the most popular place to get your hair done in the city. Her little hooves did tippy tap as she danced around and twirled. She taught so many others too, she became known around the world. She turned her little hooves around and wrote that novel from before, and this time people noticed it and begged her to write more. Her plant shop grew such special flowers, they sparkled just like her. No one could grow these flowers like these, it was hers that they prefer. Reverie, when asked to speak, taught others to believe. And with hard work and diligence, any dream you can achieve. The end.